Now that barrel is dissipating over the U.S., the Atlantic is quiet, at least for now. And despite the temporary lull in activity, this hurricane season is running ahead of schedule. Meteorologist Lee Southwick explains. It has been an extremely active hurricane season already. And in fact, we're actually running about two months ahead of schedule. Let me explain. We usually have our first named storm on June 20th, our first hurricane on August 11th, and our first major hurricane on September 1st. And we were on schedule for the beginning of the season with our first named storm Alberto on June 19th, but then barrel formed. It became our first hurricane on June 29th and our first major hurricane on June 30th. When again, usually that doesn't happen until the first of September. Barrel broke records. It was our earliest category four and category five hurricane in the Atlantic dating back to 1851. That's when our records begin. It was also the strongest ever June and July hurricane. The only hurricane outside of the month of September to rapidly intensify in the way it did. And it's also the easternmost June hurricane to form. Usually we get storms form forming in the Gulf and the Caribbean in June, but barrel formed way out here in the Atlantic. And that's because the water are extremely warm. They're as warm as what's typical for September. And so that's why the tropics have been acting like September for early July and for late June. So the forecasts and the outlooks from Colorado State University and from NOAA called for a very active season and it is verifying. But as of Tuesday, July 9th, Colorado State upped their prediction and their outlooks. They're now calling for 25 named storms, 12 of those to be hurricanes and six of those to be major hurricanes. The most accurate weather team will be here watching it for you as we approach the peak of hurricane season. I'm meteorologist Lee Southwick, First Coast News on your side.